what is going on guys we have a really important and insane video today this is going to be kind of random and kind of out of nowhere so i have a lot of explaining to do but right now we're in the zl1 we're getting some fuel and we're heading to the shop where my s2000 is at i haven't even told you guys what's going on because at first i didn't even know what was going on but now we know and we know what we're going to do and i'm going to catch you guys up on everything that's going on let's put the gopro on head over there i'll talk to you guys a little bit about what's going on Right, guys so we just got gas in the zl1 on the way right now to the shop thought i might as well just explain to you guys what's going on so basically i don't know if you guys follow my instagram i raced my friend with the bmw m4 <laughs> um, the car was like bogging and doing a little bit of weird stuff wasn't sure what it was I thought it was just like whatever so we did a couple pulls and stuff my car is acting a little bit weird but overall it was pretty normal and then I started driving it more after that and I started hearing like a little like ticking noise and I'm like I'm like oh no I'll show you guys a video of the sound it was pretty bad actually after that I didn't know what it was right away though I kind of had a feeling that it was rod knock just because of other videos and stuff that I've heard at the end that's what happened but at first I wasn't sure exactly because my mechanic at the shop said that uh, don't like assume anything right away it could be something else it could be like the tensioner or I don't know something like that he checked the oil pan took it out and uh, I'll insert the picture of what that looked like and yeah guys it it, it completely like shredded it with this car i've only learned the hard way to be honest like with with everything that's been going through this car so i'm learning as i'm going that's what happened with the car we blew the motor on the s2000 i wasn't expecting that at all i was like obviously i thought maybe in the future that would happen and whenever that would happen i would go build motor and then we'll do turbo but obviously i wanted to do that like when i actually was like starting off my career or whatever and when i actually had my own income that was my plan but sadly we had a little hiccup it just didn't go my way so basically what's going on is my mechanic said there's a couple things I could do one thing I could do is just get a whole new f20 C if we can get, just get a whole new motor and put it in there instead of mine and then the second option was to rebuild it back to stock and then the third option was to just rebuild it with aftermarket like performance parts and kind of like actually build the motor we went with building the motor and I'll give you guys the reasoning why anyways I did want to build the motor eventually it was something that I obviously want to do down the line not this early but I guess we are are doing it now we're building the uh the motor because honestly the prices between the like rebuilding back to stock and rebuilding aftermarket isn't like an insane difference like obviously it is more expensive but nothing crazy and i feel like it's more worth it than just rebuilding back to stock especially if i want to go turbo or, or, or something in the future if i want to actually make a little bit more power in the future and also obviously there's benefits so i'll probably make a little bit more power probably run better we're getting like a full warranty on the motor after that he said there's also a couple things we could build it to 600 horsepower like 600 wheels safely or we could build it to handle like a thousand wheel horsepower and with that option the differences wasn't that crazy like the 600 and the 1000 or we were thinking about it and like obviously talking about everything we want to do and we're saying maybe we should just go to the 1000 horsepower motor it'll end up being more worth it because it's not that much more than the 600 and you get that much more potential with the car and obviously I don't need to worry about anything like I could just throw in more power more power and not really have to worry I don't know I feel like it's the best for the buck I know it's kind of stupid that I'm saying that because obviously it's not my money I feel like it makes the most sense I mean I, I'm, I'm really fortunate for this I really don't know what to say it caught me by surprise and it's insane like uh, you guys are probably just as much in shock as I am but yeah guys so that's really what's going down today we're gonna head over to the shop we'll be pulling out the motor and uh, we might be even tearing the motor apart like right away he said it shouldn't actually take too long like to do this whole process maybe like six weeks or less nothing too crazy for me I feel like always things take so long so this is like for doing a whole engine build I feel like it's not too bad so right now we're heading over to the shop we are going to pull out the motor and then we'll see how far we get today I'm in no rush not nah, and I'm just going there to watch and learn and video everything go along the process with you guys I'm learning with you guys it should be really awesome I'm excited for this uh, it's a cool journey for sure that's really it that's really what happened and it's it's pretty insane um, but yeah we have a little drive to the shop it says about 30 minutes what the heck are these kids doing bro? Take the 
GoPro. I'm just gonna drive with it there. If you guys haven't watched the review or the little like test drive with this car, go check it out. Uh, it's a previous video or actually, I don't know how many videos I'm gonna be posting before this, but go check it out. It was a lot of fun to make and you, you guys will see me rip this thing, but we'll probably get a couple pulls in this video as well. I don't know, I kind of want to be like fresh kick style where he just kind of goes with the flow, takes his GoPro, even though he has like a really cool camera now, I saw, but. Alright guys, so we just got to the shop. Pretty sure he's not even open today, so it's just gonna be me and him working on the S2000. Nobody really knows about this. That's why I kind of wanted to keep it private. Obviously, you guys will know when this comes out. But yeah, let's get right into it. In the shop right now, obviously I'm gonna let him talk and all this. You can see some S2000s here. There's my car, my baby. This one is pretty insane. Also Craftsworks, but making really, really good numbers. And he's on pump. I don't know whose this is, but really, really clean. Been a couple weeks without the car. So like seeing it now, I don't know. It just looks so good. I forgot how good this car looks in person, especially with the new canards and stuff. It just looks good and the new thick tires. So there you guys have it. That's episode one. I know we didn't go crazy in depth and we didn't even start working on the car yet, but that's what episode two is for. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. There's so much gonna go on. There's so much more I have to talk to you guys about. You guys will see that throughout this whole entire series. I'm so excited for you guys to be a part of this. It's gonna be absolutely insane. So yeah, once again, make sure to subscribe, like this video, comment, all that fun stuff. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And here's a little preview for episode two.